Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special Isaac video. We're checking out the most difficult character of all time known as Jeff. Jeff is the challenge character for the modern age. He gets no iframes. That's his entire gimmick. He starts with the same stats as Kane, but will die in less than a second at any health. Eternal D6. We'll take it. We got Jeff. I'm not mad at it. So basically, if you take any damage and you're not paying attention, which is something that we're probably guilty of majority of the time, Jeff is going to be hard to beat. If we can focus on our P's and Q's, we're going to be fine. Fine, fine. Part of me wants to play the Eddie room, but part of me also wants to get amazing items too. But let's see what we got here. There is nothing like an OP Isaac run though, I will tell you that. There's a lot of things in life, but little Eddie. What happens with Eddie if we just walk over there? I thought that was an Eddie room. I call that a net net. I don't know why I thought that was an Eddie room. Probably because we haven't played in a long time, but you know what? Ignorance is not an excuse. Let's get us out of here. No! We're out of bombs, huh? We just, we literally just out rock tinted ourselves. That's okay. You know what? I don't, I don't know if anyone really noticed, but Eddie took a lot from this game from the original Legend of Zelda. Anyone ever pick up? No one's ever really talks about this. It. Like, oh, Eddie, Eddie invented a one of a kind game. He did, but it's also Legend of Zelda. Has anyone ever talked about the similarities in that? What do you, I'm, it's not bait. I'm being serious. Literally, I mean, it's like no one really ever did top down adventures since the first Zelda, third Zelda, and Isaac. I can't even think of one. Like with the doors and the sides like that. I'm not even, and, and I know you're going to say oh, in the comments, Dan, that's baiting. I'm not. Eternal D6. I just flushed that. Whatever that was. Next time next time we get an item we don't know, I promise I'll pay more attention to it. This guy should spawn a bomb, please. Daddy says, yep, yep. Okay, that's that's called RNG Manipulation 101. A lot of keys. Alright. I kind of want that item. Let's get it. Eternal D D2, I know is going to pain some people. Be like, Dan, how did you not know this? The Eternal D2, D6 did this. They don't remember. And I didn't read it. All right, we're also due for a locust here. So that means one out of every six enemies should spawn a locust. There it is. I wonder if luck up also translates to more locusts. It would have to, right? It's got to be a luck based stat. Two of diamonds doubles our money. Converts pickups into blue flies. Rerolls all pedestal items in the room. Oh, you shouldn't have showed us that. Now we know what it does. And a 50% chance to eat them. All right, one more room. We'll, we'll reroll that. Ooh. Yeah, I really, Cricket's leg's good, man. I'm a fan. Slot machine. Hey, Ragman, no problem. They lifted him straight out of Tarkov. We know his, we know his stick. Kill the body and the head will die. Quote, unquote. George Lewis Frazier. I don't know if his middle name's Lewis, but George Frazier. Not George Frazier. Joe Smokin' Joe Frazier. I watched a documentary on Joe Frazier and Muhammad Ali. A long, probably 15 years ago. I had no idea. It was, it was like... Bigger than Jake Paul versus Logan Paul. That's how big the fight was back then. Anyway, so whoa, what are those? Remember, stay moving. It's a heavyweight bout, man. You versus the you she told you about. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give couple more, couple more. Good stand up. Good. Chopsticks. I think we have to take this. We have to take this. Pretty. And we're gonna go roll the item room. I, man, this is like the most controlled Gamba game in the world. Oh, it ate it. You piece. Our D is a little lacking right now, but I'll tell you who makes up for it. Cricket's leg. And don't say Cricket's, I don't want to read one comment on this video that says Cricket leg is not good. Like, are you going to take cricket, Cricket's Leg home for Christmas vacation at college? Probably not. But that does, does that mean you're going to stop being friends with Cricket? No, you're not. Does that mean you're going to come up with 
15 cents so you can get pog cards it does we need monies okay do not we stand in that we're dead anything brimstone adjacent or brimstone ish we're dead no iframes mcgee is that i wonder if it's hard to program a isaac mod probably not you can just probably come up with a character and say hey make him shoot brimstone out of one direction you can do that all right let's we, we're looking for some d up here man uh-oh i'll sleep at the wheel there could be a troublesome 1996 okay do not be afraid don't be afraid to go in the middle tuesdays with maury in the middle but you won't be sorry quote unquote canadian book of proverbs here we go dude what is up with this d all right get the spiders first gotta take it pheromonicity let's go by the solely it looks like we're gonna be out of the card business but you know what we're back in this we're not out of this thing yet a couple giga brain plays like that we're back in back in this mapping okay good now so the reason why we're pushing this way is hopefully to get a nice juicy item room emphasis on the juice leprosy hmm can't do that that ruins the video peace i would say lucky boss but we'll take it i'd rather have a ooh, lucky boss than a rock tinted Nicely done. So do we still have it? I know we're playing as Jeff, the hardest character ever created in Isaac. No iframes, McGee. I think we still got it. Should probably do a little thing at the front end of the video. Euthanzia? About explaining what iframes are, but that's okay. I will say this. One of the things I'd be interested in, mo in modding is different soundtrack. Not because the soundtrack's not good, but do you want to listen to the same Weezer album from 10 years ago over and over? Okay, I do, but that's besides the point. Hey, it's Dan. I want to take a quick second to thank our channel sponsor, G Fuel. Big thank you to G Fuel for sponsoring the channel. There's two types of G Fuel. There's the standard G Fuel. There's like caffeine in it. Use it as an energy drink. You can check that out. What I've been enjoying, because I don't need the extra caffeine, I'm already hyped up all the time. I've been drinking the G Fuel Hydration, which is the same great taste with no added caffeine. And here's the thing with this. This is how I drink it. I take this cup right here, fill it about halfway because it's super sweet. Shake it up in one of these bad boys. And it's going to take us to $7.99 in Spelunky 2, guaranteed your money back. Actually not guaranteed. Big thank you to G Fuel for sponsoring the channel. Use code DANG. D-A-N-G at checkout for 30% off your order. And I hope you guys enjoy G Fuel as much as I have. Great item. We'll take it. Tech 7. That was a net plus plus. Uh, since, since they're giving it to us, let's take it. Okay, we'll win here. Nicely done. Dude, Tech 7. Tech 7 really packed a punch here for us. I'm glad I'm glad we did not get a troll boss. Duke of Flies, look. Duke of Flies is just a guy. Free solely. I think we could probably build up with Jeffrey. We should be able to. He's not that bad of a character. Curse of the Maze. No problem. So we got little Timmy here. Dude. Now that we got some D, uh, I got, I would say we have a 90% repeating competence chance to now beat the run. To me, is that, that's just a ooh, mini Duke of Flies, right? Just sh shrunk. That's one of the things I think Eddie does well, is that he repurposes the enemies, but it's more than just Let's get us out of here. Okay, this could be instant death if we get brimmed. Instantaneous death, no brimma. What's worse than one brim, two brim. All 
How is he doing it? Oculus Rift, we'll take it. Don't need any of that. Just don't need it. We're going, look, look we're going for a victory. Yeah, we skipped the item, but look, we're gaining pogs. Depths two. Here we go. I just, I just feel like the longer this run goes, the more dangerous it's going to be for us due to lack of focus. High priestess run. Inverted priestess. I don't know what. I think that might be a very dangerous card, personally. I think it's like, isn't it instant death? And we need to stay out of the creep, though, because creep is basically liquefied brim. Tech 5, thank you for saving the run, by the way. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Moon me. John in Tennessee. We'll take it. I like it. <gasps> gum room. We haven't had a gum room in years. What are the odds, man? Don't tell me the odds are on the screen because they're not on the screen. Dude, the old fashioned gum room. Uh, I like it. Look, we now look. The run's on the table. It's just a matter of do we have our steak and eggs to eat it? What? Okay, good. So here's let's get a quick step. Depths one with the Jeffrey mod. Upwards Isaac to the Chesta. I mean, not to the Chesta. Uh oh. That's instant death. Brimstone is insta death. Okay. Please, 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 please. Eat one of those. Good. Credit card pog. Swap those out. I just don't remember what that does. Let's say it makes every item in the shop card free. In the shop free. Soy? Credit card. You gotta take it. Oh, I saw it. That's how we live our life right there, man. That's how we live our life. That's how we live our life. Do we want Dreamcatcher? We're in this. We just won the run. By playing not not afraid to be crate right there. That's why you got that's why we gamba. A pencil. Five cents a pull, huh? Not in this house. Okay, we're okay. Then it then it then in it then in it. Whoa, 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 we whoa we. This run's got legs. We're fine. We left it a little bit short, but Jeffrey is quite the challenge. If you want to check him out, no iframes McGee. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Watch it. Enjoy it. Share it. I hope you guys enjoyed this YouTube video. It's been a long time, but it's good to be back.